Welcome to Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nilaus and this is the series of tutorials and guides here on YouTube covering all aspects of the game and aims to provide insights and resources into, to help you improve as an engineer. And now I'm saying all aspects of the game and that's exactly what we're going to cover. I have not done anything related to batteries before and I've always been sort of thinking it's, yeah, it's, it's all right. But um, it's been very much requested so let's address it so we can truly say that it is all aspects of the game. Now these episodes, they very much, very often get inspired by what's happening on my Let's Plays, either in on my, on here on YouTube or the ones I'm streaming over on Twitch. Very often uh, these designs come out of design workshops that I'm conducting over on Twitch, just randomly. So you gotta follow me there as well if you wanna catch up with that, what's going on. I'm streaming at Twitch TV slash Neelops and you are very welcome to drop by. It's at 8 p.m. Central European time pretty much every day. And I have a Factorio Let's Play every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday, so do certainly check that out. If you like this kind of video and want to see more, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Ideas, comments, feedback, let me know in the comment section below, or join the Discord server, or let me know in the chat during live streams. Let's dive in. So we are going to build batteries. Let's just have a look at what the batteries look like. They are made in a chemical plant, and the recipe is here. They only take one iron and one copper per battery. So, uh, but they do take quite a bit of sulfuric acid. So you do need sulfuric acid to get this going. So that means you need oil, but you can make do with just the basic oil refining. So what do we need the, the batteries for? Well, it's needed for, I would say three things. It's needed for accumulators. If you're going solar power, it's needed for yellow science and it's needed for robots. And of course, a, a few other things, but those are the ones that you will be needing in higher quantity. I would say that if you're going to go all crazy with solar power, then you need a lot of this. Otherwise, yeah, okay, of course you need to balance it towards your need for yellow signs, but um, yeah, it's, it's something. So let's build it at a certain size. I'm going to build it at a size so that I can scale it up to a late game build. Let me see how much is this. This is 14, one off as well here. So at this point, this is 15. I'm going to use my max rate calculator just to get a sense of the quantities. 75 sulfur acid per second, consuming 3.75, 3.75. So it's pretty much nothing and only producing 3.75 at this moment. We're going to get an output belt and we're going to get an input belt. So far, so good. And I'm going to do this one. There, and I'm gonna hit this inbound. I think I want to do it that way, and I think there's a reason for it, and I think it makes sense once I've done it. There, take this one out. Yes, the point is that I need this one available, like so. Okay, so we now have sulfuric acid. We're gonna have a combined belt in here, uh, but we're also gonna need some power poles. Power poles, mm, not great, unfortunately, uh, in this setup. I would normally build a different setup where I leave some space in between here, but because we're designing it in a way that I can use it for a late game build as well, then this is the way it's going to have to be. Uh, I would highly recommend instead of using medium power poles, if you have, if you have substations, use substation because three substations will cover it. But by the time you build the initial one, you don't have it. So with this design, you're unfortunately going to have to build just a few more so, uh, power poles than you really want to do, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, that one and that one. That's just mainly for, for me to know exactly where I want to build it. Okay, so this is where things get a bit weird. Here, and that one goes out. And I also think that it's a good idea to make This is a balancer. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Which it's not, but that's the one I'm going to use. So we are going to show it, and I'm going to explain what the hell I'm doing here. I'm going to use this one. This is my the mod I'm always using. It's called what is it called? Uh, it's part of the editor extended suite, and then it gives us some magical setups here, so we can magically generate the materials we need. This one will consume everything. This one can be making copper and also coming in here we can do iron coming in here now that should get us started on building this 
and you might go like why would you want this setup and i'm i'm completely aware that it makes much more sense to build these two maybe up here uh something to that effect i re i have several reasons i like having one space between the inputs that's one part the other part is that it will get bigger and at that point it makes a lot more sense to have them down here uh, as uh, as we progress to the next stage of the build and this one well it's chucking along everything gets output on the outside belt because well it doesn't really matter when it's only producing 3.75 per second so we can just put it on the outside belt i'm going to balance it to get it in on both sides just basically for show this is going to be good just to get your yourself going when you want to scale it up you can definitely uh, the easiest way to scale this up is to get some of the basic modules and then may perhaps just getting two of these and one of these in here that will give us it'll be slightly slower minus 10 percent actually it'll be worse depending on how much you want to save it this one the previous one was saving material this one will just be faster you can also do put some modules here but then we get into the domain where you really want to update it and that's going to be the next stage of this one is how do we if we build this and then we really want to well we want to scale it all the way up to get uh, to get a full belt of batteries and that's that's something we will want to do if uh, if you're going absolutely crazy with solar panels for example or you want to build lots of yellow signs then it would be nice to be able to do a full belt blue belt of batteries now from here we want to scale it up to more of a late game build with modules beacons and also uh, blue belts so how do we do this from here well the objective will be to make sure that we can or test to see if we can make this one with modules and beacons actually be able to fill up the half of a blue belt that's 22.5 per second and if we can that we can mirror it and then we should be all good if you watched any of these masterclasses before, you know that I always take just a brief moment to thank the patrons who are supporting the channel. And I want to do that again today. And this time I want to thank the patrons who have been supporting me for a very long time. Some of uh, you have been actually been supporting for several years. And that's really what's been giving me the courage and uh, drive to do this full time. So thank you very much, both to new patrons, but also very, very much to the patrons who have been supporting for a very long time. I don't have to say it. There is a link in the description below if you should feel like supporting but of course no obligation let's take a look at the design here so the first thing we want to do is obviously we want to scale it up and convert all of this to blue belts that should be fine boom all of this gets turned into blue belts well that's a start a blue belt takes 45 per second so if you want this one which is currently operating or delivering a measly 3.75 i want that to go up to 22.5 then i need to scale it up but it gets worse because i'm gonna throw these in here now again we are down to 2.681 but higher productivity so that is the realm of mod of beacons <laughs> modules and beacons let's do these two all right so get that here get it all the way over and at this point, mm, you know what? We are going to need this one to get rid of that part, because that's not needed anymore. What is needed instead is actually going to use these here. And I want to put it right there. And I also want to upgrade these. So I use blue belts instead. that one and then the next one will be yeah notice that I have made room for what I need and that one is there okay so we now have a change to using club stations which is a lot nicer I'm gonna take this row and also put it on the side and now we've done a good upgrade and I want to see where we are production wise we're at 22.181 that's not enough it needs to be 22.5 so we're simply going to add one there and add one there should that be okay oops let's uh, let's give it a shot 22.506 i'm gonna call that good we're also seeing that the quantities being requested are starting to increase 
It's not quite a half belt, but... Uh, so what we want to do from here is actually... Okay, can we double it? Well, yes, we can. It's going to be a bit different. <laughs> As all things that are doubled. Um, we are going to... Yeah, it's going to be a lot different, actually, now that I just look at it. But some things will have to be the same. So, this one is going to be the input. Yeah. That matches that one. Smashes. And on the other side, we are going to just... Actually, honestly, take this one out. This will be the outbound on this side. And outbound, outbound, outbound. These, they obviously need to be placed in the same location. Otherwise, it just doesn't make any sense. We want things to be nice and symmetrical. There. All right, let's continue on building this part, this part. And we put the lights exactly opposite the other ones, so that goes here after each pair. There. And we will now need this one as well. That looks good. And that looks good. And we'll just double check to see if we can feed everything. We'll do it 45.012. So that's extremely close to a full belt. What we will probably see up here is that there will be some gaps because when this one swings yeah there we go there's a gap so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make some additional ones here just so that when one swings the next one will be in standby and you will see this one should be maybe outputting 90 percent of it this one will take the last hopefully 10 percent but there could be like a very rare case where just the randomness of the other ones uh, swings goes in here that this one will need to just patch up the last hole so far it hasn't swung at all, but let's put it there. I don't care about using one extra entity if that means having a nice, completely full build. This one, well, that's gonna be um, changed. And now you will hopefully see the reason why I did this. That one. Yeah. Look at that, look how well it works. And we're gonna get this one. And you can see how well things just fit together now. And now hopefully it makes sense why I built it there. Now it comes in exactly in the middle of the build. And I'm gonna take this one up, jump over. And then the thing is, if I do that, will it work? Yes, it will work. <clears throat> and we should see a full belt outbound here. All of this are working. There's just full belt from lower side, full belt from upper side. And it comes in here, we're using a bit less. We can do the whole build so you get some kind of idea about how big it is. It's of course producing the 45 per second using mm, the majority of a of a copper belt and the majority of a iron belt, but also like almost 700 sulfuric acid. So you're gonna need a pretty, yeah, durable sulfuric acid build to support this. And there, you basically have it. You have this upgraded. It's really easy to upgrade from the previous one, the starter one, into this one, as long as you sort of build it a bit weird to begin with, because you will need to upgrade it later on. It's one of those things I really like. I like builds that upgrade easily. This one is, it could upgrade more easily if I'd build it, build this one in the beginning and just only did it that way. But I just felt that looked just too silly to, uh, to accept. So this is going to be the completed build. I think it's a very nice build. It's structured. It doesn't take up too much space. It uh, has modules on both sides. So if you want to tile it to somewhere else that also has modules on sides, then it just can be linked right to it. If you, for some reason, are building something really big and uh, you want to build more, well, it tiles really nice as well. At this point, I don't think we need that many uh, under uh, substations. But in this case, just tiling it is fine. And that makes it super easy to work with. Now these uh, blueprints are, as always, they're linked in the description below. I do uh, see a lot of people go like, oh, this is nice, but where are the blueprints? And the blueprints are always, if I use blueprints, they're always available in the link in the description. 
If you want a collected overview of all of my blueprints, then head on over to my Discord. There is a channel called Masterclass in there. There's direct links to all the blueprints from all my Masterclasses, direct links to all the videos. So you can just uh, grab things from there. Uh, I make all of these, of course, readily available for everyone. That make, that's the only thing that makes sense. So I hope you are enjoying it. I hope you like this little one. This is a small one. And the reason why it's a smaller one, it was kind of one of the missing pieces of, sort of the whole chain of looking at uh, looking at batteries. I was just missing that one. So and that's why I picked it today. But also because if for me right today is uh, my PS5 day. So I have an unopened box of with a PS5. So I want to be able to spend a bit of time on it. So the topic for today is a rather small one, but I hope it's something that you can use and something you will be applying to your own basis or um, come back with improvements. That's always welcome as well. And if you want to, uh, to if you have more ideas, if you want to hang out, all those things, as always, I am streaming on Twitch. And that's over at Twitch TV slash Nilaus. And it's most days at 8 p.m. Central European time. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays is they're the dedicated factorial days. But aside from that, we I'm also streaming all sorts of other interesting games. So I hope you want to check it out. Of course, the Discord server where we discuss and design and share ideas. And here on YouTube, well, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay effective.